close your eyes and watch your breath coming in and going out. Think boot with the in-breath, toe with the out. Think of the quality of the Buddha. That's the quality you want to infuse into your heart, the quality of being awake. And the other qualities as well. You want to be mindful, alert, compassionate, wise, pure. These are all the things that we want to bring into our hearts and then bring into our actions. Because our actions are like our contribution to the world. And what are we contributing? There's not much we can take away from the world, but, but we do take our actions. That's something worth thinking about. Usually we do things to get things out of the world, and then hope that we can hold on to them separate from the world. But then you have nothing with you to, to take with you except the actions that you've done and to take things away from other people. But when you give to the world, okay, those actions become your real possession, and those you can take with you. So you don't lose anything by doing what's right, by doing what's good. In fact, you gain. Everybody gains. As I was saying last night, this is a special principle of the Buddhist teachings. There is a happiness as possible where everybody gains. So we want to pursue that happiness as much as we can, because there's no drawbacks to it. You gain, the people around you gain as well. When you're virtuous, when you're generous, when you meditate, the fewer defilements you have in your mind, the less greed, aversion, and delusion, the less these things come out in your actions. And so the people around you don't have to suffer for them either. So always remember that point, that genuine happiness is happiness all around. It's the kind of happiness that doesn't create boundaries, in fact it erases them. It's in the pursuit of that happiness that we can live together with one another in this world, and everybody can take away something really good, the goodness of their own thoughts, words, and deeds. <laughs>